Coming to you from the former United States of America, from deep in the heart of Texas, it's Alex Jones. Well, the mainstream media, who's been caught lying on every front, is trying to change the subject with Brzezinski and Scarborough with their failed low-rating show spewing out more lies about President Trump and talking about how it's scary and how they're frightened that he talked about how he wouldn't meet with them at Mar-a-Lago and reportedly the Secret Service said that she had bandages under her ears with blood coming out. I mean, big deal. They've been calling him a dictator, a menace, mentally ill, saying remove him from office, telling incredible lies about him. I just want to know why is he even responding to them or giving them attention? I guess to pick them out as an example of fake media and to expose them. But CNN is even better because we have new Veritas videos coming out every day. We've got Project Veritas coming on today during the third hour. One of their crew at O'Keefe next week. And we've got Zucker running into his car being confronted. We've got more producers out. Jimmy Carr of New Day saying voters are stupid as SH, you know what, T. And all these new videos coming out where they're like, yes, we've been told to run the hoax of Russia. It's amazing. It's amazing. And now a new video of CNN caught lying to the public again by telling people in focus groups what to say. It's incredible. And you know the globalists are upset. You know Trump's for real by how much these scumbags are freaking out. All right, let's go ahead and go to the clip of Jeff Zucker we are being chased by Project Veritas. This is Mr. Zucker's residence on 3264th Street in New York City. This is James O'Keefe. How are you? Give a comment, sir, about the Russia story. Okay. Well, that was pretty cowardly there, wasn't it? That was pretty cowardly. Take a look at that. They had a scene in flood the scene. This guy he usually comes out at 7 a.m., right? Today? Today? He came out at 8 a.m. He's tried to split us out for an hour. He tried to split us out. And they got in the way. You just saw what happened. Cowardly. Completely coward. Hi, who are you? Let's go talk. Who are you? You work with him? Huh? You work with Mr. Tucker? Comments, sir, about the Russia story. Okay. What was that about? That's correct. What's about that I was in? I was watching you guys trying to interview him. Okay, okay. you weren't part of this. No, so I was not part, no. Have you heard about the CNN tapes? Yes, I have. What do you think? I think at this point here, I should have no comment. We get here at 7 a.m. Every day, he leaves the building 7 a.m., 7 5, he has a routine. We stand outside the building, and then the guy comes over right before I walk up. He comes right over, and he says, who are you? What are you doing here? I said, I have a right to stand here. It's a public sidewalk. And as soon as he comes over, Zucker comes out. So they had they had, they had planned this, this method of avoiding our questioning. Honestly, it's pretty cowardly. It really is. But um, Veritas does not give up so easily. Stay tuned. We've got another video coming out as soon as we can finish producing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's go ahead and go to that clip as we got to break. Here's the latest video, a snippet of it. More coming up. Jimmy Carr saying voters are stupid as bleep. Just like Gruber said, thank God you're so dumb. Let's go ahead and roll. I have a very high opinion of CNN's audience either. Yeah. Would it be fair to question the... I don't want to be rude here. Be careful how I put it. You're at least some percentage of uh, Scottish. Would it be fair to question the intellect of the American voter? Oh, no, they're stupid. <laughs> they all have disdain for us. We have a very, very full plate today. A lot of guests, a lot of news to obviously cover. We've got this contrived controversy by the Morning Joe where they call the president a dictator a criminal, a liar, and then he just says, oh, you begged to meet with me, and reportedly we're bleeding from your face left. And they're like, oh, we're scared, you're so mean. It's like Kathy Griffin simulating murdering Trump, and then Trump says, 
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And she's like, how dare you? You broke me. You talked at me. I'm a victim. And the left's running around fomenting war, fomenting violence, fomenting death. Out of all their meth mouth reporters. Looks like the day of the dead on CNN. Just, just, just like Kathy Griffin. I guess that's the look that Zucker's looking for. And then they freak out and go, you called me irresponsible. You said that I was a bad person. I've been crushed by you. You're a bully. It's a bunch of corporate special interests that had their foot or their knee on our neck. And now they don't 100% got us on the ground. And they're just flipping out like a bunch of toddlers throwing a fit. If you watch the talking point from MSNBC, CNN, ABC, NBC, and the, all the other usual suspects, they are hammering that Trump's going to cause physical attacks on the press. A, we've got to decry violence. B, we've got to point out they're the ones pushing revolution. And July is about to start when all this big foundation funding and Soros funding is greasing the skids for violence and cop killing and insurrection. And so clearly, they are the authors of it. They are the ones winding it up. They are the ones priming it, lighting the fuse, and then stepping back and saying, oh my gosh, Trump's about to cause violence. It's like the New York Times and MSNBC and others have said, Trump is to blame for the Scalise shooting. And then they said, no, former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, she's to blame. So she's suing the New York Times. And now Matthews is suggesting that Trump is going to kill Jared Kushner. Just why not? Once they start lying at this level, why not just say Trump killed the dinosaurs? Trump crucified Christ. Trump is the person that steered the Titanic into the iceberg. This is the type of craziness going on. And, and the media misrepresents what Trump says. They misrepresent what I say. It's incredible. It's amazing. One of the biggest news stories out today is that Alex Jones says slave children were sent to Mars in a slave colony. Didn't say that. Didn't say that. It was brought up and I said, I know nothing about that. But I know there's a secret space program with a lot of weaponized stuff. And I went on to say, I know they've created thousands of aliens on this planet by splicing humans and animals and insects and plants together. And alien simply means not of this earth, not natural, artificial. There's the headline. Alex shows us a perfectly normal chat about all the slave children who are sent to Mars. You know, Robert David Steele was a case officer in the CIA that did run operations in the Middle East and has done a lot of stuff in a Marine before that. And... I, I know why he, he brings that up. He said, you know, there's such slavery of children. There's such a rendering of their blood and their bone marrow for the elites. That's been in the news. They've been caught. There's so much sex trafficking with the you know, new uh, scandal with the deputy pope indicted for running giant child rape operations. That he went on to talk about what I've talked about with NASA engineers. And this was even in. Time Life and other publications in the 60s, it was discussed morally from the view they had of, of trying to raise children basically subterraneanly to where they normally think it would be normal to live in space to send them on a Mars mission so that environmentally they never knew anything any different. So that, so that it wouldn't be cruel and unusual to send them. And, and, and that has been postulated. In fact, I even have the, the Time Life magazine somewhere around the office. We've shown it on air before where they talk about different scenarios. So that's where those rumors begin. He was making the point that we already have a breakaway civilization technologically. And there's already so much secret stuff going on. Vaccinating black people from the late 40s until the 70s with syphilis and telling them it was a vaccine. I mean, you can't trust anything that goes on. And then they make all these jokes in the news saying Jones makes it up and says there's human animal chimeras. Will you guys bring me the file? I forgot to tell you before the broadcast started. I have a big file, but it's only a small sampling 
of National Geographic, Smithsonian, Nature, MIT, saying thousands of human animal chimeras are now gestating and being born on U.S. research farms. That's an MIT headline. And I've talked to the people at the bases, and they say it's, it's more horrific than you can imagine. It's classified. We can't tell you. But stay on target, Alex. It's horrific. And then they just admit it. Part human, part ape, part human, part monkey, part human, part dog, part human, part insect, part jellyfish, part, I mean, and, you know, I talked to family that was told about some of this in the 80s, the experiments that were going on. And they wouldn't get into details. They just said it is unbelievable. Okay. But notice the media just says, oh, Jones, you're crazy. It's not going on. Next time Robert David Steele's on next Wednesday, I'm going to ask him, though, why he just threw that Mars comment in in the middle of the discussions about the Pope's deputy caught red-handed running a 20-plus year program of child rape. I mean, it's organized. And why he threw it in? Because I make the point, why did Buzz Aldrin come on the show about the moon mission to just say it happened, second guy to walk on the moon. I believe it happened. I've got friends that were engineers. Raymond Teague died a few years ago. You can see him in mission control, mission one, in control of the cameras, everything. I mean, on the spacecraft, everything. It was real. But they had backup stuff there they didn't want people to see. That was the whole point. And the film rolls couldn't come to the Van Allen radiation belt. They had to broadcast back a TV signal. So they did doctor up photos and stuff for the public. And they did use some of the Hollywood people that have been used for 2001 Space Odyssey. But it wasn't Kubrick himself faking the whole deal. They used some of the people that had been on 2001. By the way, I have that from Stan. I, I, I have that from all the sources. NASA, Kubrick, family, all of it. I mean, we've got the contacts. It's all well known. I talked to the president. I don't need to go any further. You're getting what's really going on here. And so they want to take all this and distorted out and all the rest of it. That's not what's going on. There's a lot of stuff secret. The president hasn't even figured out all the stuff that's going on. But do, you don't think we're really spending $2 billion on this new fighter, do you? I mean, you don't really think that the SR-71 Blackbird in service in 1955 is still the fastest airplane in the world going Mach 4? I mean, do you still believe the SR-71 Blackbird developed in 1952 in service in 1955, taken out of service in the 1980s? Do you think the SR-71 Blackbird is the fastest aircraft in the world? Let's put the SR-71 Blackbird up behind me if we can. Do you really believe that? The elites have always been about informational control. And when they set up the National Security Agency... 1947, and the CIA or the National Security Act, that was the end of it, because it's a total breakaway situation. Now, that's 1952 technology on screen. Looks like something out of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? We're not in Kansas anymore. So coming up, I'm going to get into false flag. Is CNN or their controllers who stage wars, stage babies in incubators, their lives responsible for millions of dead? Promoting open borders, promoting globalism. They're losing control. They're making themselves the victim. How do they pull themselves out of the bacon when they're pushing violence against Congress, pushing violence against Trump, pushing violence against his supporters, pushing all this garbage? What are they going to do? Well, themselves or some of their associates, I would say in the prime computation, would stage a false flag event. Either completely manufactured or partially real. CNN is famous for... Faking explosions behind Anderson Cooper, who really wasn't uh, in the Middle East at the time. Famous with blue screens. I mean, they're well known for this. The video's up on Infowars.com. Needs to go viral. Is CNN planning false flag? I would say is CNN planning a false flag or false flags to blame Trump? The desperate MSM might go to extreme links to gain public sympathy. Because they've done some of this stuff before. I should probably add on you know, some information to that just to point out that they have a history of staging false events that then kill millions and millions of people. But when we return, Mika, daughter of 
one of the main architects of the last 50 years of evil, and uh, Psycho Joe, as Trump properly calls him, old Psycho Joe Scarborough, he's out of touch, old, wannabe trendies, and by old, I mean old guard, doing music videos, rock videos about themselves, uh, doing photo shoots where she's sticking her leg up in the air, and he's acting all powerful and alpha male. I mean, this is a joke. These people are literally a giant joke with all these old stuff suits and dying media all having consensus journalism where they all vomit each other's mouths and pass it around. They're saying they're so scared and everything's so bad and Trump's a big old meanie and, and he, he, he dared speak back against them. But, you know, I, I know why Trump's mad at them. They've been in his business. They've been talking to his crew. They have been stabbing him in the back. So what's happened is the desperate establishment corporate media that, that'll tell you the truth about the weather report. They'll tell you what the temperature is or you know, where there's wrecks on the highway. They have their use. But when you're talking about national media with these known pundits, they are there to spin, obfuscate, and lie. And we have every major news agency caught in conscious lies. Imagine if you had a behind-the-scenes video of me saying, I consciously lie. My viewers are idiots. They trust me, dumb effers. The media is so deceptive, they might take that clip and say, I said it. But see, I don't care. I'm not going to let them govern how I live. I tell the truth. I let the chips fall where they may. And they constantly do it. They edit together what I say. That's their problem. But they get caught over and over again like politicians, and we're just supposed to accept it. But all over the world, people aren't accepting it anymore. And again, it doesn't mean we're going towards some utopia. We're going away from tyranny. We've decided we want more. And Trump is delivering, except on taxes and Obamacare. And that's because the Republican establishment, who's the real threat, the Democratic Party's destroying itself. But the Republican establishment needs to be in the political, peaceful crosshairs of change. Americana. The American system is back, not the modern global system they say that is America and that they scapegoat America's name, but the real American system. Now, this is a short segment. Next segment, I'm going to get into Brzezinski and Psycho Joe, not because they're important, but because analyzing how they baited the president is. They are thanking their lucky stars that Trump started tweeting back at them. They baited the president. Now, I'm sure he knows what he's doing, but they don't have, have any viewers. And so I would think the president's doing that just to show what pathetic scum they are and to have the public further realize he's fighting the enemy media that is a foreign multinational propaganda corps that is literally out to get us. We've got Gruber. We've got all these other producers. We've got all these other government hacks saying, thank God you're so stupid, and that they're ripping you off. And yes, their constituents are losers, are arrested development fools. But we need to reach out to them. I know they're calling for our death and simultaneously whining and saying we're violent. I understand that they don't have logic, but it's up to us to reach out to them as much as we can and say, listen, it's not about Donald Trump. It's about the reawakening and nationalism. And don't you see all the powerful corporations and all the big establishment media and foreign governments unified against Trump? Do you really want to be on that globalist bandwagon where they all point at each other as a consensus? Here's an example. The OECD set up the European Union. It's the corporate banking system that used U.S. taxpayer money in the Marshall Plan in 1946 to reestablish Europe. And it came out and said, we have 10 million migrants that have come in the last five years. It's accelerated in just the last year. It's 5 million. So 10 million in the last five years. But half of that in, in the last year alone, it's an accelerated collapse. They brought in the first group to get you ready, to condition you. Now they're accelerating towards total collapse. And then the EU points at them and says, oh, look, the OECD, it agrees with us. The Organization of Economic Cooperative Development, as I've always told you, that's the world government. That's the original breakaway group that then set up the CIA 
and everything else, and I'm going to explain that when we come back as well. They took the equivalent of hundreds of trillions of dollars today, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars, put it into private corporations to set up the takeover and reorganization of Europe. They then set up systems and got laws passed to let secret government be established and let secret investment be brought back in. So they used the beachhead of Europe and our intelligence and military force that have been established there to then come back in through the National Security Act the next year and take over the United States. Amazing. I'm going to get more into that coming up and how Trump's travel ban and so much more is just a limited attempt to stop that full damn break and full collapse. We're going to go to break. Please don't forget the transmission is listener supported. And that means by you spreading the word about the local affiliates you're listening to on AM and FM, spreading the live feed links at Infowars.com forward slash show, the Facebook, the Periscope, the YouTube videos, the PrisonPlanet.tv, membership you can share with 20 people. All of it is about spreading the word, so keep spreading the word. Free shipping through the month of July. I've extended it, and a lot of huge specials. Myco ZX is back in stock. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. I know we have a lot of new listeners joining us across the country and around the world, listening on the Internet, watching on the Internet, listening on AM and FM stations across the country and some cable and TV stations as well. Thank you all for joining us. You're going to hear what I actually say on this broadcast and what my guests have to say and what we cover and the documents and articles and videos we show you. And then you're welcome to go double check what we've said. In fact, we hope you will. I probably covered... 15% of the news that's on Infowars.com every day. I mean, I hardly even get over all the news uh, that's on Drudge. It's just all crazy. But in the next little short segment, I'm going to have my message to the media dealing with human-animal chimeras because they've really jumped the shark on this. This has been going on for at least 30 years. It's in mainline literature. And they're now beginning to condition the public for the roll out of it but they don't want me to give it bad pr ahead of time so they just say it doesn't exist it's not happening alex jones is a liar he says hillary rapes kids in the bottom of a pizza place never said that he says he hates black people never said that he says he loves you know david duke never said that i mean they just literally lie as you know because they don't want to have a discussion about animal human hybrids and the different ramifications of it. And how it's this no man's land, literally and figuratively, where they don't have rights because they're not humans. And they don't have animal rights because they say they're not animals. They're alien. They're, they're new. They're original. That's the definition. Whenever the last secret probe landed back on Earth a few months ago, just type in X, whatever mission it was, you know, secret NASA probe lands, and it's got the guys in the spacesuits. They're doing that because whatever that probe did, they're worried it had space microbes on it. They don't normally do that with the other missions. Now, let me ask you a question. You think they're wearing spacesuits down here on Earth? At these facilities where they're doing the human animal chimera testing? No, they're not. It's wild. It's dangerous because it's creating new mutagens, crossing different genetic lines of animals and humans together is very, very dangerous. There's the BBC, the uneasy truth about human animal hybrids. That's from. February of this year. And the reason I've really been hammering this is I've been talking about this for 20 plus years. And now they're trying the rollout of it. So they're really upset that I'm pointing out the issues ethically, culturally, biologically, so that we actually have a real debate about it and force it out. So they're simultaneously rolling it out, admitting it's going on. But then saying, I'm insane and I'm a liar. I mean, there are hundreds of articles, hundreds of articles out today just saying, I'm completely insane. There's no such thing as human-animal hybrids. There's CBS News. Air Force space plane lands after secret mission. Yeah. And they're wearing decontamination suits while they're messing with it. Pro 
probably because it's got special weapons payloads and they want to make sure that none of it leaked when it was transferring its weapons payload to the platform. Yeah, it's a little mini space shuttle. You see that cargo hold? That cargo hold carries special little packages. By the way, that is a very old design. They are showing you a 1960s design. I mean, you can watch Buck Rogers, 21st Century, that came out in 1979, and that's the plane Buck Rogers is in. Can you guys pull up the cheesy, see if my memory serves, Buck Rogers, 21st Century um, intro trailer? Intro to the TV show? We'll see how good my memory is. I haven't watched that show in over 30 years. But that's Buck Rogers' ship right there. I mean, they're even throwing it in your face, folks, that, that they're showing you stuff that Buck Rogers was flying around in in, in a made-up Hollywood TV show in 1979, and then that's what they're showing you landing. That's been landing in Area 51 since the 60s. That is an old design right there, ladies and gentlemen. So much so that consultants in Hollywood for Buck Rogers in 1979 had Buck Rogers flying that with some added boosters on the top. All I'm saying is the SR-71 Blackbird 1979, you know, retired or whatever, 1981 retired. Now, that's what he flies once he gets there. It's the, it's the intro to, to, to Buck Rogers, 21st century. Because I can see the media now. You, you go to YouTube, you type in Buck Rogers TV intro, and that's where you'll see the... the uh, Little space shuttle he's flying around in. The, the media will probably pick up with that. Jones says Buck Rogers TV show's real. <laughs> That'll probably be the headlines tonight. The good news is, though, it just sends more people here to the show to say, we've got to hear what this maniac's putting out. Now, that's the Air Force X-37B. And as soon as we can find the old Buck Rogers deal. You know, I said I'd cover this next segment, but I always kind of get into it right now. Maybe I should just get into chimeras right now. Because I've got a whole stack of scientific papers Mainstream news, National Geographic, all of it, admitting everything I've said for 22 years. And instead of people saying, Alex, you were right about this, they say, oh, you're crazy, it doesn't exist. I know you're probably sick of hearing about it. Let me just briefly here spend a minute or so. Oh, they found it here. So let's get some audio and uh, back it up, and I'm going to play this. There it is, see? There's Buck Rogers' little spaceship. And it's the uh, it's a little X-ship. We'll uh, play that later in the broadcast for you. All right. Let me just briefly remind everybody that the globalists are trying to shut down this broadcast. They're demonizing us on every single front, every single day. And kicked us off our Google advertising. That was pretty much our extra budget for 2017 to expand. But thanks to all your support in the last six months, we've made that money back. But now we need to obviously continue to expand the funding, not just hold it where, we're, where we were last year. We are where we were last year. And compared to most media, that's great. But we need to get an extra surplus here because I need to hire a lot of people. We are hiring more uh, editors, researchers, fact checkers, uh, directors, people that can run the live transmission, switchers, board ops. And so, no, you're getting great products at InfoWarsLive.com while you support an organization dedicated to taking on the globalists and defending Western civilization and basic freedoms. So I want to thank you all. We've got the big July 4th special. I've decided to expand throughout the month of July. But a lot of these items are going to sell out. And so everything will be 30 to 20% off until it's about to sell out. And I don't want to just sell out of stuff now and be out for months and months. So I'm going to, once we get down to low supplies of it, go back to full price on Super Mel Vitality, on Brain Force, plus now with 20% more of the great nootropic for your brain. Uh, the Survival Shield X2, amazing, cleanest, purest iodine that we can find out there. We believe it's the purest and best out there. Your reviews certainly agree with that. Thousands of reviews on the X2, 4,000 plus. 4.8 stars, unprecedented. And now the Myco ZX, unbelievable, folks. You think probiotics have helped you? They've certainly helped me and countless others because of all the bioaccumulation of pesticides in food. It kills the good gut bacteria. So you go in with a biome defense, super high quality uh, probiotic we've got, and it, again, lets the good bacteria grow, help process the nutrients in your gut. That's how we symbiotically operate and push out the bad bacteria. 
But into those spaces also is an epidemic of yeast and mold and fungus. And just read the mainline literature on this for yourself. I mean, it's an epidemic. People are growing fungus in their brain and getting record-level brain tumors. The massive bat populations are dying. Uh, people are dying at mainstream news all over the country in, in unknown fungus-related illnesses that never existed before. Uh, I talked to two cops in Cleveland. One of them was our bodyguard. He'd been on medical retirement, but come back, uh, you know, to do security. And uh, the point is, is that he went into a crack house and got some type of fungus in his brain, almost killed him, and his partners retired from it. And it's no joke. Anyways, I'm not saying Michael ZX is going to handle that. All I know is in the gut. That's where it's really out of control. And this is known concentrated herbs and compounds that knock it out and eat through the slime wall that funguses and yeast create to dominate and control your gut to make sure the nutrients don't get through the intestinal wall into your bloodstream, but that they gobble it all up for their own little greedinesses. And candida and all this is totally well known. I love how media says, oh, I'm a total kook. There is no fungus epidemic. Yeah, sure. There's no mold epidemic either, jerks. Point is, this is blowing people away. Read the reviews for yourself. 4.9 stars. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And I am going to offer that at 30% off because I want you to try it. When you get it with Biome Defense, the probiotic, they go together. One deals with bacteria, one deals with fungus, yeast, and other garbage like that. It's amazing. It's a new product. It sold out in two weeks when we got it in. Took us almost six months to get it back. It has 140 plus reviews, 4.9 on power reviews. No one has that. No one. No one. There was even an SEC complaint on power reviews that they did. And they said, here's all our documents. We have to take out the super positive reviews. These, are, these of course, are all real. They had to back off. I mean, that's the type of warfare we're under. They don't believe that on one of the major respected sites out there that we have 4,000 plus five-star reviews on X2, and it's that good. They say I'm a con man that I sell knockout. You got trouble sleeping? Take some and see what it does. I'm no rocket scientist, but I know if a regular bottle of melatonin is $19.95, and I can put the same dose in my bottle, it only costs me a dollar for that dose in that bottle, why don't I add eight other things? Then the bottle costs me six, seven bucks, but I still make twelve, thirteen dollars and fund the operation. And then it's got chamomile, L-tryptophan. Valerian root, a bunch of other stuff known to help you sleep, and it's changing people's lives, and these dirtbags say I'm a swindler. I'm a con man. It's a known fact Valerian root triggers chemical behavior in the brain to help you sleep. It's a fact melatonin is key. But they won't tell you that a lot of people are depressed because they don't have enough melatonin or serotonin. They won't tell you St. John's wort in hundreds and hundreds of major studies is a, way better than, you know, things like uh, Prozac. And I don't even sell St. John's wort. We should be. Like, oh, Jones is a con, man, St. John's wort. What do you think's in the plants God gave us? I love it. You know all these articles they've written saying I'm a con man selling supplements? You know what our sales have done? I said we're at the same level we were last year. That's on average. But since the hit pieces ran... It's brought in a new revenue the last two weeks. So I want to thank, I, I, literally, I want to thank the enemy media at The Nation, the enemy media, all those other publications. You're such scum. You're so hated by the American people that they thought, oh, the lying scum says this is a con game. I better go get some. <laughs> oh, I love it. Your attack on us is an endorsement to the American people and our affiliates, too. They're out there, and they say all the time, every day, money just arrives, $100 bills, $200, uh, sponsors coming in, people saying, we want to thank you carrying the broadcast, whether it's $10 or $100, just send the radio stations money. Pray for those stations. Become a sponsor. Let the local sponsors know you're, you're, you're using them because they're, they're sponsoring our broadcast locally. The left wants to bully everybody. The left wants to kill free market. The left wants to tell everybody we can't be on air. The left wants to try to go after everybody's sponsors, but if everybody just supports Patriots, it's over. Because there's more of us than there are of them, and we work. And we, whether we're middle class or blue collar, are committed to this country. So it's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm a practiced swindler because I sell the very best supplements I can find because I want you to get great results and come back and buy them again. Talk about self-serving. You win, I win, we all win. That's what, I don't get why people aren't symbiotic. But is there going to be an article out of the nation calling Bezos a swindler? Because I guarantee you, Whole Foods is pretty good. But I mean, I mean, they've got a lot of supplements in there that I know aren't that good. I know a lot of stuff, supplements we sell is private labeled, same stuff that's in Whole Foods. But the point is, how do they all sell supplements and they're normal and they're good? And then we sell supplements and we're bad. We make less claims than the big mainline companies just to be safe. It's amazing. But I'll say it, I don't care what the FDA says. You need oxygen to live, without it you die. You need water. And you need fat, and you need protein, and you need vitamin C, and you need all these things, and they know it. And they're reducing the level of vitamin C you supposedly need, and of, and of all these different compounds. Selenium, down and down and down and down. Find out what selenium deficiency does. Just search engine, selenium deficiency cancer. And all the mainline studies, they don't want you to know what selenium does electrochemically in the body. They don't want you to know what, what true iodine does in the body. They don't want you to know. They want you drinking fluoride, which is the bad halogen, and the bromide, and the bromide, that whole family of stuff that destroys you, that makes you bloated and unhealthy, and in a fog, and fat, and stupid. And they want to make jokes and say, yeah, the kook even sells fluoride-free toothpaste, we're not joking. Can you believe it? Like the fool, when he dives 100 feet under the water, wears an oxygen tank and a, and a respirator and, and sits there and breathes oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, Jones also doesn't play in traffic. Like I-35 is going about 80 miles an hour. I don't run around in traffic either. I'm a kook. I'm a nut. I'm a loon ball. Oh, Robert David Steele, they were attacking? He said a month before Trump announced to run for president that Trump would announce and that Trump would win and that Trump would save the country. Uh, and they even quote him in the paper saying, look how kooky he is. He predicted Trump would run, would win, and would save the country. See, they take whatever our strongest info is, and they put it out and then pretend like it's discrediting when it's the opposite. They play a Svengali mind trick, but it doesn't work when you're conscious and aware that they're a pack of liars. When you hate CNN, when you hate Joe Psycho Scarborough, when you hate the globalist. And by hate, when you reject them, when you resent them, when you know they're scum, when your brain automatically labels them the enemy, you can then move on and have your own life and then track and discern trusted sources. We are back live. We have Larry Klayman, expert, founder of Judicial Watch, joining us to give us the inside intel on Comey and where all these obstruction probes are going, Loretta Lynch and more. So with the Inside Baseball, that's coming up the first 30 minutes uh, of the next hour. Then I'm going to get into the latest Project Veritas video and audio that's up on Infowars.com where there's CNN reporters talking about how dumb the American people are, how dumb voters are, how much they hate you, how they lie, how they're told to lie. Just more and more of this coming out. These are monstrous people because they need to hire scum. They need to hire folks that have that twisted mind. And you wonder why, why they get so sickening, so arrogant, so out of their minds. It's because it's a collection of trash all one-upping each other, all giving each other confidence. Now, remember, they told you Obamacare was free. Uh, then you could keep your doctor. They told you the Federal Reserve wasn't private. They told you Iraq had WMDs, that, that they were stomping babies' brains out inside incubators. All lies. Think about all the other lies they've told you and they've been caught telling you. Now... When I first learned about this 22 years ago, it was only in medical and scientific journals and literature. So I would make a big deal about it. And for a long time, they would then attack me and say, I'm totally insane. But now it's in mainstream news. But there's a paradox. The media is saying, I'm a liar. I'm insane. There are no human animal cross species. Island of Dr. Maru. While they come out in headlines and admit it's happening, but say it's no big deal, go along with it, but they never show you these. They've been bringing these to term. When I first read about this uh, back in the mid-90s, it was in medical literature and things, how they were creating human-animal chimeras 
embryo so they could be implanted in cows so they could grow up larger so they could have more to harvest, more blood, more marrow, more organs. But now they've been growing these creatures, part human, part pig, you name it, up to a larger size. I mean, China, for at least 15 years, you can buy human milk that's produced in cow's udders uh, for your baby uh, if you can't produce milk. I mean, that, there's, that's on Chinese TV. I played that more than 10 years ago. That's on state-run TV. You tell the average yuppie that, they just laugh at you. They go, oh, you know, that's Spider-Man movies. But, but there's the BBC, the uneasy truth about human-animal hybrids. And all these new articles kind of whitewash it, but admit it's going on. Merging animal and human forms brought terror to our ancestors. And this fear persists right away into our modern age. And they go on to admit, oh, it's going on, but you have a fear. So they think you're so stupid that they are allowed to look at WikiLeaks. You aren't. Chris Como, member. I'm not allowed to tell you about Tommy Rich. You're not allowed to look it up. You've got to hear it from them. Human pig hybrids for organ transplant can develop into monsters with our brains. The Express. But they're mainstream, so they're allowed to say that. Just I'm not. Because I said it 20 years before, so see, I'm not credible. The more right you are, like saying Trump would win, the polls were fake, they were giving Hillary the questions. The more right you are, the more bad. See, the more wrong, the better. NPR, in search for cures, scientists create embryos that are both animal and human. Well, they don't just create any embryos, they bring them to term. That's, that's, that's MIT reporting that 20 plus years ago. Scientists to open mass cloning factory this year to clone cows, pets, and humans. MIT review, human animal chimeras are gestating, that means they're in uterus, in utero, They'll say that's a conspiracy. That's a big word. When they don't know big words in the media, they just say it doesn't exist. In utero means the uterus of a mammal where the egg and the sperm, you know, grow as the zygote into the embryo. That's not a conspiracy. I'm not trying to show off to CNN that I know how to talk. I can, I can also tie my shoelaces. Human animal chimeras are gestating on research farms. A radical new approach, not new. <laughs> the Nazis were doing it. To generating human organs is to grow them inside pigs or sheep. New prospects for growing human replacement organs and animals. New York Times, Washington Post, scientists create part human, part pig. I mean, I can give you a few more, but it doesn't exist. Because I've got the news right here saying I'm a liar in Gizmodo. And it says right here at the end that I'm insane and that there's no proof uh, that they're merging humans and animals. I'm a liar.